We start from here, from this tweet. Software engineering is a dying profession. Hmm. In my opinion, this is not true, but maybe I'm missing something. I think the fellow here is um, talking about chat GPT, which is the latest AI marvel, which allegedly can respond like a human. Is this the first step towards general artificial intelligence? Well, I don't know. I think that this is impossible, but this is only my opinion. To mimic, to recreate the complexity of the human brain, I think it's an impossible task, by now at least. Nonetheless, in this video, we are gonna test ChatGPT and check its potential, okay? Here it comes. To use ChatGPT, you have to go to OpenAI and then you can test this amazing tool. For example, you can write, hello, ChatGPT, how are you? A very basic string. Let's see how the ChatGPT will respond. Hello, I'm a large language model, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it seems a very legit answer. I don't have feelings, of course, like a human. I'm here to assist you with any questions you might have. Is there something specific you would like to know? Yep, there is something specific. Uh, can you code? Hmm, I don't have the ability to write or execute code. Interesting. Let's try nonetheless. So, write me a function in C that is able to, I don't know, print hello world. The classic first program that everyone knows. Oh wow, seems like it's working, so you liar, you can code. Why the hell you told me you cannot code? <laughs> Here's a simple function in C that will print a lower word. You can use this function by including it in your code and calling it like this. Wow, this will print a lower word on the screen when you run the program. Amazing. So it made the function and then it gave me also the main test. Okay, this is a super easy program, but nonetheless, it is correct. I can see it's exactly a good hello world. Nice, this was easy. Chat GPT. Now I'm gonna test you better. Okay, <laughs> write a recursive function to print the Fibonacci sequence in C with up to, let's say, to 42 with a main test. Boom. Okay, it seems like that is working even in this case. Oh, you can't code, my friend. We are fucked. <laughs> my friend, we are done. It's finished. End game, my friend. Look at that. It seems legit. That's exactly the right function up to now. Let's see if the test in the main is correct. Yep. Yep. It is correct. It is correct. Now I'm gonna copy the code. Look at that. It also explains the code. This is amazing. This program will use a recursive function to generate the first 42 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. The main function uses a for loop. This is amazing. This is really cool. Now we're going to try to launch this program. I'm going to make AI fib.c. All right. I'm going to pass the code. Very, very cool with the comments also. This is amazing. And then I'm just going to run this AI. Look at that. This works exactly. You have the sequence of Fibonacci. You have 8, 13, 21. That's exactly the Fibonacci sequence. All right. That's super cool. Okay. Let's try something else. Um, we're going to ask the same. But um, I want uh, this time the Tribonacci, Tribonacci sequence. Let's run the code. Let's see if ChatGPT can generate a recurve function and see that will generate the first 32 numbers in Tribonacci sequence. Perfect. Again, this is amazing. It is writing code exactly like I'm expecting. Perfect. Like all the base cases nailed. Then you have the recursive calls. Perfect. They are correct. And then you have exactly the main function as I want. The first 42 Tribonacci numbers. Perfect. That's correct. Let's copy the code again. Let's pass this code and we're gonna run again. Let's see what we get. All right, maybe 42 is not a good idea because the program is gonna take forever <laughs> to, to run. So we're gonna just make a little shorter this time. It is better if we make this Tribonacci but with a shorter test like till 15. Okay, let's run. Okay, again, this is amazing. It's printing the Tribonacci till the number 15. I have to admit, this is pretty amazing, especially if you are studying coding, because you can really check with a very good teacher, essentially, how to write code. As you can see, you have all the comments, you have the explanation of the code, and this is going to be a very, very valuable tool.
And this is only the beta version, as they say. So pretty impressed. This, of course, is the rights function we're going to copy. And um, we're going to pass here so we can run. Let's run the code. This time, you see, you have the Fibonacci sequence, which is exactly, you have four here, you have seven, 13, 24, perfect. This is the Fibonacci sequence. That's amazing. I am very positively uh, impressed. Okay, let's try something more difficult. What can I do? Well, we can try to solve the Euler project problems. Euler project is um, a place where people is solving mathematical problems. As you can see, you have all the problems. I have solved uh, some of them, not all of them, but for example, you have even Fibonacci numbers here, which is a simple problem. So here you have, you see the Fibonacci sequence and you have to find the sum of the even valued terms. You can see here I have the answer. I have already solved with my human brain this problem. Let's check if uh, chat GP3 can solve this problem. All right, so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna pass in my prompt. By considering the terms of the Fibonacci sequence whose value do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even valued terms. Write a program in C with a main test. Go. I think it's gonna be super easy for this AI. Here comes, it's working, sure. It's the program in C that will calculate the sum of even valued terms in Fibonacci sequence that do not exceed 4 million, exactly what I want. So as you can see, it's typing line by line with a comment explaining what it is doing. That's remarkable. So here it comes. We have the program, we're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna, as usual, pass here so we can launch it. The sum of the even value term in the Fibonacci sequence that don't exceed 4 million is 4,613. Let's check the result. 4,613,732. Sick. Cool. <laughs> even with the good printf that it's really well explaining the output. Amazing. So let's try another problem. For example, like this. By listening to the first six primes, we can see that the sixth the sixth prime is 13. What is the 10,000 first prime number? Let's check if ChatGPT can do that. Okay, well, write a C program. Write a C program. Boom. So I think this is a simple problem for this artificial intelligence. To find this number using a wrong, you can use a similar approach to the previous example and implement. Okay, it's going on with the explanation, which is amazing. And now, is producing the code okay i can see immediately that the answer is correct the number is exactly 104,743 like stated here you see amazing and then it's giving you the the program now we are waiting that is printing by the way it prints really fast i mean it's not bad you can see that there is some processing behind the hood but eventually this will be super fast, maybe instantaneous. By the way, I have to admit, this is a very cool tool for software engineers. I'm not sure this is going to replace all the, the deal, I mean, but nonetheless, kudos to this software. Okay, we're going to test again this code, let's lead to the ground, and then we're going to run. And of course, it must work. The prime I'm looking for is this one, 104743. Cool. This is the correct answer. Perfect. Okay, let's try this one. Find the largest palindrome made from the product of two three-digit number. Okay. Okay, let's plug in, write a C program with a main. Okay, let's input this one. As you can see, it's trivial for this AI. As usual, the beautiful explanation just before writing the code. This is super valuable. This is like, Pedagogically, incredibly valuable, especially if you start coding from scratch by yourself. Having this tool is invaluable. Okay, here's the code. Let's very briefly check if it works. Okay, let's run this code. The largest palindrome, blah, blah, blah. It's this number, 906609. Let's check. That's exactly the correct answer. Very cool. Let's take the, the most difficult problem that we have. For example, Tori angulations solved by only 57 people on planets. Wow. All right. Yeah, we have some images here, so it's going to be tricky to copy past this problem. Let's try out. Uh, I don't... No, I cannot. So I don't know if you're aware of, but there are some unsolved mathematical problems in the world. 
if you solve them you can win one million dollars so let's test it out maybe i'm gonna win one million dollar but i don't know okay and solved math million dollar problems millennium prize problems let's check them out so as you can see here we have the remaining six unsolved problems because one has been solved by grigory pirinman если ты русский чувак обязательно посмотри историю этого человека просто невероятно григорий пирельман so this this man this григорий пирельман is really cool and uh wow and he is the man that could solve the problem the panquare conjecture with his human brain <laughs> okay so he is a genius he is a genius of our times Grigory Pirman is not very well known so we have six unsolved problems all of them are super difficult mathematical problems so now you can check by yourself but they are super complicated to understand so I'm gonna simply say can you solve a Riemann hypothesis here's the question dear GPT I'm sorry but as a language model trained by OpenAI I don't have any specialized knowledge in mathematics beyond what I've been trained on not able to solve the Riemann hypothesis or any complex mathematical problems up to now <laughs> because I think you will be super scary in the next future in the next future I mean 10 years by the way I'm just a simple programmer maybe if you are specialized in artificial intelligence and you understand really what is going on please just uh, share your knowledge with us maybe we can all get value from your comments personally I think this is super cool by now it's a legit helper tool for programmers or for aspiring programmers I don't think we can consider this program intelligent per se at the end of the day what is intelligence though it's a tricky murky area if we consider humans just a series of biochemical reactions and basically a biochemical algorithm well probably we can maybe one day map all the interactions happening in, in our system I don't know maybe there is something more when we reach a certain level of complexity there is a qualitatively difference in how the system works for example in the brain we have allegedly 100 billion neurons creating a super complex structure maybe when we have that level of complexity we reach escape velocity we reach a point in which consciousness rise up and we have a qualitatively difference that we cannot reach with some chips but I don't know really I have to investigate this stuff by the way a really good source is this book <laughs> God Lesher Buck they were making these questions once upon a time this is really amazing this is an investigation of what is intelligence and how it is intertwined with computers maybe um, I don't know that's an amazing area that's an amazing time I would say what do you think we live in very cool times the matrix feels closer and closer what do you think with this whole meta stuff and with this amazing artificial intelligence that is doing code allegedly we can say okay this is only pattern recognition is scraping the internet finding some previous human-made solutions but aren't we doing the same aren't we just a series of knowledge taken from other people well I don't know my friend this is a a philosophical question more than scientific in my opinion try by yourself chat GPT it's amazing you will have a lot of fun all right enjoy my friend bye